Hello and welcome back to another part of my Weld Anvil tutorial series. And today I want to show you two different methods to create a player character in control of a player for your campaign on Weld Anvil. And as you can see, I started this video on my dashboard just because the question that may come up is why don't you simply create a character article and call it a day? Well, <clears throat> to answer this question, I need to um, stretch out a little. A character article is perfectly fine for an NPC. So if you want to have an NPC within your campaign, let's say for a Vampire uh, Chronicle, you want to have the prince and you don't want to have him as a player character, you will just create that character article over your dashboard and attach it to that NPC in your campaign interface. But for a player character, you usually want to have your players control over, uh, let your players have control over it. And this is a whole different thing. So, to create that hero's character, um, either for your players or you can your players have watched this video and follow the tutorial step by step, you will click on RPG character profiles down here. If you don't have it, you need to activate the option for heroes in your count features setting. You click on your portrait up here and you will come to this page and you will need to enable the RPG character manager. Once you see this check mark here and enabled, you're good to go and you will have that menu link down below. You will click on this and you will have that window if you are a freeman like I am on this account. So, to start off, you will click Create a new character, which will give you this window. You will give your character a name and a last name, and just describe him for about three to five sentences. And remember, this part is, as far as I know, not visible to anyone but yourself and your dungeon master or storyteller. So just write in any facts about your character here. So, I wrote, Kendra is a fifth generation Ventru and the Scourge of Varenburg. She is a handsome blonde with piercing blue eyes in her twenties. And that's all the thing I will write up now. Um, I will now go and upload a portrait. I achieved a free portrait pack from the Storytellers Vault because I am running a World Anvil um, a Vampire Chronicle. And so I will use vampire like portrait. And I have to search the correct one. Uh, I think for now I will go with this one. It will do just fine. Just drag and drop it over there and keep it. As simple as that. Now I will select my role-playing system and I am 
running a Vampire Chronicle, but I am using Pathfinder 1E as a system, so I will select that. Go to Additional Detail and hit in her title, which is Scorch. Doesn't have a nickname, and she's currently in Varenberg. Just save that, and your character is basically created. You will now see some of the main features of the hero system, which is you can post messages here and they will be visible to anybody following or they are visible global by every other characters. So let's see here, RPG character stream. And you will have the global uh, stream down here where you can see all the other things people posted. So it's like a Twitter for RPG characters, which is perfect. I really like that feature and it makes connecting with other people and other players within a world or globally way easier. But now let's go back, which you can do by clicking on character profile, view profile. To come back to the screen we had before. As you can see you will have certain tabs up here. The first one is basic character um, information like your quick profile. That's what you entered and it seems like it's visible to everyone so perfectly fine what I entered. Your appearance information, mental information, personality and social status. These are things you should recognize from the usual character template you can access from your dashboard. The sheet part will add your character sheet within your system once you created it. I didn't create one and I will not do during this video. This will be a whole different video. The equipment part, there you can add certain items your character owns and you can, oh, let's add something for example, she will have a clock or no, she will have something like this, a Shadowrunny type of weapon and it is a weapon, she will have one of these and it will weigh two pounds. I can add that item and it will appear up here. I can delete it when she sells it or anything else, but you will always have that character equipment part searchable for yourself and to have an overview of what your character owns and what it doesn't, what he or she doesn't own. The scrap book part is for you to taking notes about your character and this is clearly not visible for anybody. You can just make notes about quests she has or goals she um, follows, things she wants to achieve. The gallery part will include images, I guess, you post. The journal part, you can write journal entries for your character here and they will be readable by people. So if you had an adventure, you can just write a journal article about this. Uh, you can put in a date down below and post it. This gives a character more character because you automatically um, Think about what she achieved and what she did during the adventures she experienced. The history part will be some major historical things. And people can follow your character and follow her journey and visit what you post more prominent. But as you can see, all these tabs are empty right now and we want to change that by hitting edit. 
So you will have the basic profile, this is what you already know. Uh, you can checkmark this if you are planning on including adult content. I will do because it is a vampire chronicle and vampire is generally containing some adult content. Now you will go to extended profile. Epic features is something you don't have as a freeman and I cannot have a look into it right now. The introduction is what basically is the vignette of your article. Just write in some stuff here. Your species part should explain itself. Your alignment part, age, date of birth, all that things should explain themselves. Um, the appearance part also all these fields are also in the character article. And this is the most important part because there is an option to link that character to a world. And this is by character access uh, rights. You can connect it to the world, which is done right now. And if you do not want to keep the character for yourself, but you are writing him for or her for another one, you can just enter the world and the username of the user you want to transfer the character to into here, transfer it over, and the, things, the thing is done. You don't need to give that player access rights to your world or editing rights to your world, they can update their character from the hero's interface. And that is the major advantage of using this system. But for now, this is only the first method to do it, because as you can see, we have a character right now, which is editable by a player, but you need to have him within the campaign. And to do so, I go to my campaigns page and I select the campaign. Within this, you can manage your characters as protagonists and you will have an invite code. This is what you need to copy and paste into a new tab, which will give you this window. And you are, if you have new, more than one character, you will have a selection of them, but we only have her, so I choose her. And by now she will be connected to the campaign as a protagonist. And you can see her here. There is another option of creating a player characters, no matter how you call it. And this is by, you go to create support, uh, supporting cast NPCs and create a new NPC cast member, which will give you the same uh, window as you had before. It will be a hero's character, but it will be an NPC. I have one already, so I will continue with this one. Go to edit and make NPC to PC, which you can only do when you are a guild member. But, and that's the main point. The guild membership right now is pretty cheap. Uh, you can access that feature for $41 a year. So if you are planning on using World Anvil on a long term, I would suggest you to think about that. that and then you can only create the NPC and transfer it over as a PC to another character or another player. 
So, I hope you found this tutorial somewhat helpful. You now should know how to create a hero's character, how to connect him to a world, and how to connect him to a campaign. You are able to edit the character and to fill in the details. And I will show you what happens on your World Anvil world page now that we edit the character she appears here and you can click on her and you will have this information because it is a hero's character this is only visible to for the game master or storyteller of the campaign and it will be a full-fledged character article you can edit or your player can add it. But you as a DM can also edit this person and for example just set her into the right category like player characters and I can add The characters cover. Save the changes and without doing anything that the player should do to his own character, I updated the stuff to make it in line with my design. So, if you found this tutorial helpful, I would be happy if you leave me a like and maybe follow my channel. If you have further questions or want to know more about the world f uh, workflow on World Anvil, join me on Twitch. I stream every Monday and Friday. I stream on Mondays from 2 p.m. to 4 uh, 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. Central European time, and on Fridays I stream from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. Central European time. I would be happy to see you there. And until next time, I wish you a very, very nice day. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay fluffy and bye-bye.